Mm. Okay, so uh, so um. Lara, you are. So, what's your plan? You're going to find this place? Anyone going yep. with Lara? Anybody's walking? So, just, our Wyvarians are later. otherwise occupied. Yep. Uh, Hi and Sakel, are you staying with the caravan? Yep. Okay, and Donovan, what are you doing? Um, I just messaged you stuff. Okay, very good. Right, um, uh, Alara, uh, so are you, there's that place I described, where like someone had potentially done a, um, uh, a potentially slightly failed attempt to use this, these kind of sand banks in the middle of the river um, to, to create a, an impromptu bridge. That's a possibility. Or you could just look for an area where you just put it across the banks. Completely. Um, I think the first choice we'll give it a go is where there's some sand banks. Uh, is there a harness master or somebody among the caravan? Is there, sorry? A harness master or something? Harness master, you'll have, you'll have to help me. Uh, somebody intimately familiar with knots and rope. Um, yes, you You can probably find some of that ilk. Yeah. Um, like normally I'd ask for a bosun, but this yeah. is a caravan and not a ship. Um... I will just get them to see if they can make a get some rope together and make a much thicker cord by weaving rope together. And because I'm sure we'll need a hauling line at some point. Um and yeah, I'll basically I'm assuming this is going to take a day or two to to get the whole thing done. Um, yeah, I mean, depends on how much help you got, but yeah, quite possibly. I mean, I simply can't move a 50-foot log on my own. No, no, I mean, you're going to have to, um, yeah. you know, you're going to have to sort of, uh... So there is a man called uh, Spinelli, who seems to be some um, elderly gentleman, um, kind of quite garish clothing. Uh, he's speaking to Matthias. Clearly, he has some kind of interest in these felled trees that you wish to use. Um, potentially, he owns them, you think. Then I will walk up to them. Gentlemen. Matthews. Your friend. Ah, Alara, this is uh, Spinelli, uh, uh, old friend of mine. Uh, it, is, uh, it is indeed uh, his fallen trees we are looking to use. But he understands, don't you, Spinelli, that we need to get across the river. And um, I've said to him how experienced you are on these matters and how in no way will his uh, precious trees be washed away down to the dusk water. No, no. Um, there is much... They are much too heavy to get washed away by the amount of work that they're going to be doing. 
the outside may get scuffed up a bit, but... Good, you see, it's not anything to worry about. Uh, if you are sure, I uh, don't know how much I have invested in this, Matthias. And I would hate to, uh, for you to uh, spend your days uh, fishing in the tusk water for me. Uh, I'm sure, good, good friend, it will not come to that. But, well, uh, in which case, uh, perhaps uh, if I were to accompany you um, to uh, ensure that uh, you had to... Uh, A good idea, Spinelli, I'm sure. Alara will appreciate your experience. Thank you, of course. Aid is always helpful. Hey. And I will, uh, as gonna, we walk so over. You're just going to make, make general preparations, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Is this river passable on foot? Or would it be a swim chip? Uh, no, you, you think um, it's going to be a... Uh, a swim and probably a climb check the other side because of the bank. Um, okay. Because uh, it's quite fast flowing at this point, even though it's narrow. Hiya will assist Alara with the magic of guidance. Are you going, is Spy going with the Lara? Uh, she'll see him off. Okay. <clears throat> okay, well that's going to take some preparations to organize. Um, meanwhile, Donovan. Uh, yes. So... Being my wise old self, Donovan and Levi are heading back off into a direction that they believe is more correct, using the guidance of the spirits. Okay. Right. And going a lot faster this time. Okay. So, um, well, the direction you're heading is indeed, um, would take you to, seems to be taking you to the river. Uh huh. Um, once they reach the river, Donovan's going to unsummon his mount, summon a dolphin, ride across, and then get a mount again. Actually, no, it wouldn't be a dolphin. Because, oh wait, no, it would be a dolphin because Giant Frogs is a second level spell. Fuck. Yeah, just, just hang fire there, dude. Um. <laughs> you and frogs. Always you want frogs. Frogs are the best summons. Okay, so you are summoning this sort of strange swimming um creature and with a view of um riding on its back to cross the river. Um, you'll notice that where you are, um, uh, is, is maybe slightly curious. There's um, what looks to be uh, a whole load of driftwood, maybe? 
certainly from some form of something that's been made, but it's all kind of piled up now. Uh, and joining it is a whole load of kind of large stones. It's almost like someone's tried to create an impromptu bridge using the sandbank in the middle of this river. Um, quite a quite a quite a mess. Um, the river is very fast. Does uh, it look like if this is all put together, it would be able to better support the caravan than what they're doing back there? Sorry, could you just repeat that? Uh, does it look like if this is uh, all put back together that this could better support the caravan and make it go faster than what they're currently um, doing? Potentially someone who knows more about these things could certainly use these raw materials, you suspect. No time! Off to the spirits! Okay, uh... Oh, what is that noise? Somebody's yeah. having an apocalypse happening in the background. Yeah. Um... Alright, so Sakel returns with news of... Another instance of Donovan's departure. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And he signals what direction he took. The scout's not the scout's not there to chase him down. So. Go off in search of the. I've headed off in search of the. Um. Of oh, the Templars. So it goes. Haya says, oh, well, but Sakel's report of how fast Donovan was going. Haya figures so there's not much to be done. At least not by her. Uh, probably from Sokel's estimate, even if the winged people moved as fast as they possibly could, they probably couldn't catch up with him. Yeah, because Pathfinder. the Flying movement is fucked. It, you have a lot of background noise, dude. I wonder what microphone is using. Sounds like it's sniper mic, dude. Yeah. Mm. Hi, uh, so just using my microphone array. Okay, fair enough. Hi, so she'll deal with it when he comes back, if he comes back. Ultimately, he's not doing the weird shit close to the caravan, so... With the level of weird shit he's capable of doing, location doesn't really matter. He's not summoning a goblin ghost, so... Be I'm happy. totally not opening up a world to hell, uh, portal to hell right next to the hero van. I mean... Hyde doesn't really care if he does that. She more cares if he leads lost souls... He leads souls from the river of souls astray. More than he already has. Because currently, she thinks... What the fuck? Those who want to pass must pay the toll. Is that for me or is that for them? That was for you. And what is this toll? Uh, climbing out the water is um, a very tall figure. Um, water dripping off them. Um, wearing kind of raggedy clothes. More scraps than anything. Um, has a sort of metallic sort of sheen um, which might be some kind of armour, quite a lot of it by the looks of it carrying a weapon in one hand quite a long weapon, maybe a pole arm of some sort has a look of a warrior maybe um, you notice that there's a large number of um, sort of different lengths of arrow shafts sticking out of it. Um, it 
claws its way up this sandbank until it gets to the top and then utters these words in your direction. Um, can I try a knowledge planes check to figure out what the fuck is this? Yeah. Did it roll? Oh, cool. it rolled. Wow. Yep. <laughs> oh. 38. I know what you are! <laughs> And what sort of toll are you looking for? Either the body of that scum or your spirit as a gift for the lady and you can join my caravan of silt. Uh... Which body are you referring to? I might be able to help with that. That bastard. Stag Lord, he calls himself. Oh, now I he heard he already died. I've heard that he's already been slain. Wouldn't face me in a fair fight, knowing I used to be a soldier. I, I regret to inform you, but it seems like you... Moak has already been slain. We were informed of that, and... Um, His spirit has not passed. I would know. And where so is the spirit? Not... It must still be here. And if you do not have it, then you must pay the toll in other ways. Girls! Where are you, by the way, Donovan, right now? Um. <laughs> Things just got real hairy. Let's see. Donovan. Would. I would have to be within 30 feet of this creature because I used uh, Detect Spirits on it. Right. That's so. Sound. He probably would have backed up to the maximum of that range. And two, three, four. Oh. Okay, and Levi is with you, I'm guessing? Yes. Because I remember oh. to say that he was coming this time. X. X. Right. So, I... I am fine you... with, uh... Well, uh, well, what? Initiative, dude. Oh, fuck. Uh... Good job leaving us all behind. Thank you. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Isn't that what Clay said multiple times? It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I did not have them selected for that. Alright, hang on. Oh no, and it's not Six and Ricky, so I can't re roll it. No! Not Six and Ricky, so you can't re roll it. You're quite right. Hang on. Well, this could be a problem for you. Well... I'm really good with Undead. Yeah. It'll be fine, as he said. It'll be fine. Okay. So... Uh, with Donovan's knowledge of this creature, and the fact that it just spoke, it's intelligent, so that means that it's not immune to mind-affecting stuff. That he knows of. Mm, that he knows of, that's quite right. Awesome. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Initiative. Gals! Where you... Oh, there he is. 
Do we get to watch this unfold, or or are we blind? <sighs> you should probably you let like... them watch this unfold because I kind of want them to see the stupidness about what about what's going to occur. Oh. <laughs> There's dog barking coming out of my yep. L20. A guy called for girls. And so... Hmm. Oh yes, I do also have a horse. No wait, it would have been a dolphin because I just got to the river. That's right, you have a dolphin. Yes. I will draw my dolphin, do not worry. Okay. Marvelous. I claim you for my caravan. I'm part I of the caravan already. You name. Look, the name I... of the Lady of Graves. <coughs> Wait, hold on now. <laughs> so, you say that you are with the Lady of Graves? I am a follower of Phrasma, and I can help you on your path. Um, coming... Uh, barking furiously out of this bank uh, is a very large dog size of like a wolfhound uh, looking kind of like it's lost half of its fur and bits of its skin uh, you've never seen a dog as big or mangy mm -hmm. he comes bounding down the bank and then uh, splashes into the river uh, and then onto this bank. Uh-huh. Um, you feel a little like, like something has touched you, Donovan, and you're feeling a little uncomfortable. Uh, so knowledge planes to figure out what that is? Possible? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Da, 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 da. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's just a normal dog. It's fine. It's fine. There was absolutely doing? nothing mystical about it. Sullivan, oh. what are you doing? So it's my turn? Yep. Alright. So, seeing what all is going on, Donovan is going to take a step back and use invisibility on himself. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to put the little ninja icon on me. Marvelous. He's there. And... My dolphin, this brave little soul, I need to actually look up dolphin stats. That's fine. What are you doing with the dolphin? Uh, it's going to go to attack the dog. Uh, the dog's on the bank, dude. I was going to have it try to jump out of the water to attack it. 
No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to have it yeah. to go, try to go attack you get the... It hold, you get to hold its action until a dog goes into the water and goes to pass it. That could work. Yeah. Um, Levi, if he's going next, completely ignores what the dolphin is doing, and goes over to poke the dog. Uh, Levi cannot act yet. Oh. Sorry. Okay. But, um, yeah. Donovan's invisible. The dolphin's gonna sit there and wait for the dog. Marvelous. Stats. Okay. Another dog emerges, dives off the bank into the water. Whilst in the water, you lose sight of it again. Ah. Uh. Dolphin stats blank. Another dog oh, the other side of this creature standing on the bank does likewise. You see it come out of the undergrowth, jump off of the bank, into the water, and it disappears as well. Levi, your turn. Levi calmly floats over to this dog and goes to poke it. Okay. And let's see. Yeah. Here's the summon stat for Dolphin. I already found it. Yeah. But um Yeah. He's going to try to poke it with his corrupting touch. Okay. Bear with me, I want to check something else. Levi um, pushes his hand, I'm guessing, into the creature. He just goes uh, to, like, boop it on the nose. Uh, okay, he pushes it into the, the, the creature's kind of face. Uh, and, um, yeah, a bit more hair and flesh fall out, fall off of the dog. But Levi gets the impression that that didn't do an awful lot to it. Uh. Okay. Uh, and it ignores him. So next round, uh, it ignores him and goes jumping off into the water. Uh, and yes, your dolphin would get uh, an opportunity to uh, have an attack of some Yay. sort. Yay! And I don't have Maybe. augmented summoning, which I should really get. So, it's just 1d20 plus 3. X. It wasn't expecting this fight. It was just summoned to give a ride. Indeed. It doesn't know what to do. <laughs> okay. The dog comes out of the water, the bank on the other side. And starts sniffing around. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Okay, next. The uh, figure on said bank puts his both arms wide and says, Come, my caravan of stilt. Come and welcome in, in your embrace your latest member. Oh, check that shit out. Yep. <laughs> You're boned, dude. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So I found the source of the spirits. It's this guy? <laughs> it's this guy. <laughs> Okay. Donovan, you seem to have more company. Yes. Yes, I do. You notice that all, uh, all of them appear to be human? All of them look like they've had large bites taken out of them. I'm going to As try to ID these. I mean, with a large jaw. Yeah, I'm going to try to ID these. I know my spirits, other than those stupid dogs, which are plainly dogs. Oh, lovely. So... <laughs> Quite a few of them look like the, the clothes they would have been wearing would have been, you know, as if they weren't poor. You know, maybe traders, um, maybe teamsters, even a lady or two. Mm -hmm. They do look like all of them have in some way been worried by a, a, an animal uh, with the a largish jaw. Maybe not unlike maybe that kind of desiccated, rather ugly looking dog that you can see. You know, I could run, but it's Donovan's job to send these souls off. Hey. Okay. Alright. This is going to take gonna a little bit of prep. Have to rush you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Is it my turn? It is your turn. What are you doing? Alright, so. Dolphin! It's going to turn and attack this one. Excellent. Donovan, uh, the dolphin is going to miss horribly. Still not expecting Excellent. to fight. Okay, in return, the, um, the dolphin's trying to cuddle him. The member of the caravan of Filt, you believe it's called, is going to try and have a hug. Oh yes, I'd say that looks pretty good. Let's see how much health my Jesus. dolphin has left. Um, it the, is still uh, alive. Yep, yeah, it has uh, wrapped both its arms around the do uh, the dolphin and effectively pulled it under, clawing at it sides while it. Oh, wrapped. I'm really hoping it's going to try to drown my dolphin. Oh uh, yeah, that is what it's doing. <laughs> Zombie thing. Yeah, right. That's a good point. Uh, what what are you doing, Donovan? I I do need right, to rush you. So do. um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck go up over here and oh uh, that's Actually, no, he wouldn't go over there. He's going to move. I'm gonna have to put an O on him real quick. Five, four. Hold on, I, I'm three, gonna use blistering invective. I just have to know where I'm gonna move for it. Two. I'm gonna move right here and use blistering invective. Okay. okay. And let's see. You know, <clears throat> it doesn't do anything if you can't actually shake them.
They... Oh, zombies immune to being shaken? It's a fear yeah. effect. Yeah, dude. It's okay. a fear effect. Thank you, uh... Well... You can... Okay, don't let me play. Uh, I guess I'll just use, uh... Me back here instead. And use flaming what? spew on this dog. Like, drop it okay. right on top. And he gets a will save, and I'm going to roll that thing real quick for the stuff. Hey, I'm not going to allow you this long next time, dude. Just to warn you. They can attempt a DC 20 reflex save to negate that damage. Mm, that seems unlikely, but we will try. Oh, yes. Yep. Wow. Sees the sphere coming and dashes to the side. So. And you've now appeared, of course. So can you take your little ninja thing off you, please? Yep. Excellent. Well, I'm bound. It has a plus nine to its reflex. Fuck. Um. Okay, hang on. You. Well, I am going what? to use an immediate action. Okay. And I'm going to summon a heavenly blade. And I'm going to make it Undead Bane. Okay. Uh, as, you can do it as an immediate, can you? I believe so. I'm going to double check it. I can't really block or evade because I already used my move thing, so... Feel free to take your um, time doing this stuff. Well, no, that's fine. So, um... One of the dogs comes uh, dashing out of the water, uh, scampers uh, uh, up the bank, um, uh, and uh, but then probably takes a little bit of time to locate where you are, so it will not be able to do an attack this round. Uh, it's a free action, not immediate. Oh, there we are. Very good. And it is treated as a magic weapon. Very good. Excellent. I look forward to seeing you hit things. Right, uh, Levi, what are you doing? Levi, see that how boned Donovan is, he's going to fly up a little bit to where he's not quite in the area of the zombies he's going to be flying over. And fly I have to check what his move speed is again real quick. He's just going to fly up and over this zombie to get right there. And try to attack this dog. Okay. And... What's he attacking with? He only has one weapon! His hands. Uh, he once more pushes his hand into the dog, and a whole load of hair falls off like a bad case of mange and not melt jail sap. So it is doing something. I... No, you don't get the fit. Levi, Le Levi wasn't sure last time. He's now sure. This is having no real impact. All right. So, this point, he's going to go, Ooga Booga Booga! Go for me! Go for me! Ooga Booga Booga! Marvellous. And dance around. It's good to have a plan. Right. Uh, <laughs> following around. This creature will... They have life sense, don't they? Hmm. 
Well, I can see you. And I have made a suggestion that they may have. Right. Uh, the creature comes tearing uh, towards you and then dashes suddenly to the side and uh, tries to charge uh, at your right leg. Uh-huh. What's your CMD? Lower than that, probably. Ha. Huh. It is lower than that, most definitely. Right. Um, would you like to try and evade? Um, I already did my move action to get back to where I'm at. Uh, you can use your movement action for this round. Ah. Uh. You basically borrow it. Let's see. Yeah. I want to consider that. Well, with this weapon I have, it's actually just as good to try to block it. Okay, you're on a minus four. Oh, minus four? Okay, that's a 20. So... Oh, I am considered proficient with this, if that's what you're going for. No, 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 I'm fine. Um... Okay. He's talking about blocking without a shield. Yeah, okay. Uh, you um, basically kind of use your uh, newly summoned Heavenly Blade to effectively uh, position the, the blade uh, against your hip, uh, thereby giving it uh, the necessary leverage to put the dog off, impaling itself on it. And therefore, the dog at the last moment um, dashes uh, further uh, to its left to avoid the blade. Uh, okay, um, our friend Davik. Mm. I'm going to yell out. Actually, no, because Donovan, I mean, yeah, Levi just yelled his distraction, so Donovan's not going to yell out. No. No. Feed my bitches. Feed on him. It's really weird to call your uh, people bitches. This is the dogs. But I don't think that they have genitalia anymore. Because bitches are female dogs in heat. I also don't think that these dogs can be in heat. I'm not sure he's as concerned with this level of accuracy as you are. Heard about <laughs> the bitches being, being specifically for dogs in heat. Usually just female dogs. Accuracy aside... Right, marvellous. Uh, that's all he does. Uh, Donovan, what would you like to do? You have two of these horrible-looking hounds near you. They are very large indeed, probably large enough for a halfling to ride, and they are a smell disgusting. All right, so Donovan is going to try to use his ability Quell Spirits. And as a standard action, all Fey outsiders and undead within a 30-foot burst must make a will save or be calmed for one round per medium level. Okay. And Lovely. the DC is... I forgot what his... 20. Marvelous. Okay. Hopefully uh... this itself doesn't provoke. Um... And I'll put the little thing on me for 30 foot. Excellent. Um, you're using it, uh, what is it, is it? It's called Quell Spirits. It's a class ability that I got at level 6. Okay. And... Uh, and does it provoke, is the question? It does not say that it provokes. 
Mm. What does it say? Um, I can put the text in yeah. Skype okay. for you. No, I'd say given the nature of it, it doesn't provoke. All right. Calm and the down. DC is what? Calm down. The DC, uh, what? DC 20. Marvelous. So he's basically just going like, shh, it's okay. It's okay. You don't the have will, to attack. Yeah? yeah. Well? Yep. Okay. Okay. Good. Right. Alright, and that lasts for six rounds. For the ones that are affected. Uh, by the way, speaking of that, which one still looks like it's agitated? Uh, bear with me, Dean. Alright. Just because it's easier, I'm going to give all of the zombies the same initiative for their border. Because otherwise, I think it's just a bit complicated. I get you. Okay. Fine. Um, yeah, you notice the so the dogs stop barking. And... Uh, you kind of glance around, and uh, your dolphin is no longer grappled. Uh, but this one starts climbing the bank and is now here. Oh, lovely. Mm. Okay. Um, but the dogs have kind of seem a bit confused. What have you done to my girls? It's okay. Oh, I've just teach you for doing that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're just going to be nice. I'm a friend to the hey. spirits. You see, I can help you uh, get the staglode soul. It's what I do. As you can see, I have a lot of control over the dead. Uh, Levi, what are you doing? Levi? Seeing that this guy just came up. Yep. Gonna go poke him. Hopefully more happens from this one. Um... Okay, I'm guessing Levi's visible when he does this, yeah? Yeah, he can't go invisible. Okay, so his kind of ghostly form uh, goes up uh, and reaches his hands probably through his creature's Oh, chest. wait, hold on. I have to make a will for we Levi because I just realized it affects him too. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Kind of shooting myself in the foot with that, but yeah, he can't yeah. do anything. Oh, yeah. uh, he's, all, he's kind of chilling out, too. Yeah. He's kind of... He's running a reefer. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next round. Uh. Okay, so that lasts and presumably until your next round comes along? No, this effect lasts for six rounds. Six rounds? Yes, That's it's uh, one round per medium level. All right, and do they get? Let's have a look. Do they get a save each round? I do not believe so. Let me double check though. Okay. Okay. Nope, but it instantly breaks if um 
any damage is yeah. dealt to them or any aggressive action towards them. No, that's fine. Okay, fair enough then. Uh, okay, well, this dog will sort of start to mooch around. Hmm. Um, is Levi... I mean, he attacked the dog, so he's kind of, what, is he at sort of person standing height, or what? Yeah, he's kind of like, he's floating with his feet, like, almost on the ground. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, the chap with the uh, pole on will um, will uh, thrust it in Levi's direction. Mm -hmm. Just to save us a little bit of time, is it magic in any way, shape, or form? Uh, if you're asking... Uh, he he's immune to non-magical attacks. I I understand. Okay. Um, he is still going to try to block the second attack at the very least. Well, no, the second attack wouldn't hit him. He's still just going to go for the first attack then. And okay. that's Donovan's sheet. Let's see. He does not block it. He does not block it. Okay. Kindly can leave I take 14 points of damage as this uh, Ranser pierces him and in some surprise it crackles. And, uh... Does it have ghost touch, or is it something else? Ah, who knows. Well, um, ghost, unless, if it's ghost touch, it does full damage. If it's something else, it does half. And he also does, does have armor. It does full damage. Okay. Does his armor apply whatsoever? Uh... His armor would apply. Yes. All right. He takes no damage. Okay. Really? Yep. Okay. He has a full plate and a load shield. Okay. All right. Um. He was taking you in life. He is taking you in death. Donovan. What's a well spirit thing? Uh, you said, what did you say, Ego? Um, uh, slightly blindsided, you're kind of looking at all of these creatures that seem to kind of lost their interest in you and are kind of milling around, and then something tries to wrap both its arms around you from behind. Uh, going to try to block that. And squeezes. Please try. Nope. That's a no. Okay. Please take, uh, seven points of damage and you're now grappled. Awesome. You fear, you hear a deep <laughs> breathing in your ear. You're now grappled. Uh-huh. Donovan, encountering this exact same situation before... It's his turn, though, right? Uh, it didn't need his turn. Donovan, encountering this exact same situation before, he knows what to do. He, with his um, arms kind of wrapped up, he kind of, like, pats the creature on the shoulder a little bit and says, It's okay, I know your pain. And he's going to use Quail Spirits again. I can do it ten times a day. Uh, 
I'm really good against undead. No, 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 it's fine, dude. It's more, um, we're back to how do your abilities actually work questions. So, I just want to see. It is a supernatural ability if that helps. Wait, no, it's uh, SU. What's SU? Supernatural. Okay. Then what's SP? Spell like. Oh. Yeah, it is supernatural. Okay, bear with me. Just want to check. Are they subject to um Nothing short of anti magic stops them really. What about tax opportunity? Nope. Okay. Fair enough. All good. Right. Uh, so you're doing it again, are you? Yep. I still have the little radius on me, if that helps. Uh, and hopefully, uh, Davik is going to be affected too. Hopefully. With any luck. He probably has an actually high of save. Okay. He uses an ability to pass that. Oh. The creature who has you grappled... Passes. Fuck. That one's possibly more serious for you. Um... Okay. A uh, move you. action. You're grappled. I know you're being squeezed. As a move action, I can move my flaming spear. Oh. Yep. Okay. And it was over here. And because I don't want it to touch me, it's going to go right here and then up. Actually, I actually have to make sure that it can go 30 feet because I think it goes 30 feet, but I'm not sure. Um, doesn't it require. How long does it last? 30 feet. And how long does it last? Do you use it once per round? Uh, it lasts one. Uh, one round per level. Okay, does it require concentration? No, it does not. Okay, mark this. Uh, okay. So, you're gonna have it just kind of brush all up against that one? Okay. Well, it can't. It won't get a reflex save because it's grappling. You can you can hear in your ear, very close to you, Donovan, the sound of burning and a horrible smell. This kind of uh, putrid, uh, wet flesh is dissolved and created as a vapor that hits your nostrils. Okay, they're all milling around, however. Hmm. Yeah, that calm spirit is pretty cool. Yes, yes it is. It's, it's one of life. the few actual class features that's like, oh hey, you're actually really good at Dealing with spirits. No, no, no. It's it's good. Uh, oh god, what noticing, is that thing? Yeah, you're noticing that um, some of those who weren't in the original range of your calming appear to have uh, located your uh, delectable living body and are um, heading in your direction. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of assuming around. this looks different than the rest of them, right? Um, it, it doesn't. Well, it it, it looks just a bit wor worse for wear, certainly. Maybe older than the others. 
Oh, uh, not Levi necessarily more you? powerful. No. Okay. Uh, Levi, what are you doing? Levi is going to go to poke the sky. Which guy? Uh, you know, you could try and steal his weapon if it's ghost touch. Can we? Can we not have backseat prompting? Sorry, guys. All right. I thought about sundering it, but that um wasn't gonna do that. I am going to still do crafting touch because that's what I said I was gonna do. But I might try stealing mm -hmm. it next time. Uh he probably misses. Uh yeah, she does. Say, the spear is really nice. Where'd you get it? By the way, Ooga Booga Booga, go for me! Ooga Booga Booga, go for me! He yells <laughs> to the creatures around him. That's it! Blast him! Okay, his creature comes up, and he's ah. now right in your face. Uh, that was not in its turn. Right, and now, yeah, I think so. Mm. Right, um, the creature with the rancer who has just shouted encouragement. Looks to once more drive it into Levi. Oh gosh. Ooh. Yeah, let's try to stop that from confirming. Um, let's see, that's the wrong sheet. Here we go. It's like a 28 because of the new crit rules. So. Yep, gonna try to stop that from... Yep, he takes all of that, but... No damage from the first one, and his... Okay, stuff can is... add... Huh? Uh, add, eight, add eight to both, please. Okay. Not not the crit damage, but the 12 becomes a 20, and the 15 becomes a 23. Okay. So... His armor... totals to 15... So it's five from the first one, and how much was the second one? Uh, second one will be 23. Alright, so that is eight. Uh, okay. You felt that, Levi. That hurt. What the fuck is that spear? <laughs> I haven't actually I been wounded in battle for a Oh. You are still vulnerable to my kind. You know what we're doing, Lady Phrasma's work. We can always try to work together. We are willing to help you get the Staglord spirit. Uh, okay. Um... Yeah, so. As you can see, one of us has really good control of the spirits, while the other one is, he motions towards himself, is one of them. We go around fixing things like this. If you're truly a follower of Asthma, then we do not mind helping you. I'll take okay, that as a uh, no. Uh, uh, yeah, the creature, um, uh, the creature that has you grappled is uh, squeezing you again. Uh, Donovan's really feeling it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and the other creature that was not affected. 
is um, probably going to do that. Wow, this does not look good. Um, it's Wait, not possible for you to try to block any of come up to you and has just headbutted you. It's not possible for me to try to block any of this, is it? Uh, you're grappled, dude. It's kind of tricky. Yeah. No. Okay. I'm down to 16 health. Alright, so, putting all my faith into this next one, I'm going to try to quell spirits again. Okay, please do. Um. So, guys. I need... Guys, he says. It's fine. We're friends of... We're friends. We all... Fucking hell! <laughs> This is great. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your tricks won't work on us, boy. It, look, it's not a trick. We're really followers of Phrasma. We really go around helping the undead like yourselves. We really do want to help you. But it's hard to do that while you are holding us right here. We have interest in the stag lord as it is. We do not mind going to get his spirit for you. He sighs as he sees another one moving up. And another. Most of them, to be fair, are wandering off in a... Not very interested anymore, kind of way. Just okay. not all of them. Levi, what are you doing? 